The offenders in this unit are locked down for 23 hours a day. One of the men is 38-year-old Ronald L. Sanford. His is an exceptional story. Oh, well, I came here in 1989 at the age of 15 years old. Uh, I was actually convicted of the crime that I'm here for at the age of 13 years old. Uh, me and a friend had basically uh, planned to get money to go to a fair, and to do so, we we're going to cut grass. We went to a home, basically, and they said they didn't want their grass cut, and rather than continue on the vein and go to the next home, we decided to push into the home, essentially. And it ended in a double homicide. It's that simple. And uh, for our complicity in that crime, I was sentenced to 170 years, 170. I'm eligible for parole when I turn 100 years old. Push into your home. Essentially, we're going to push into your home. Eugenics, we're going to push into your home. Essentially, we're going to push into your home. Oh, you on the long cut, no one gonna kill him. Oh, yeah, let me tell you what Ronald did. Trying to get some money, he couldn't borrow it. What can he do now? We really wanted it. His mom's not home, he's not waiting for tomorrow here. Saw him and a friend, they went to cut grass Knocking on doors and trying to get more cash Hey run away, what you looking at yo? Then he decided to push into the home Push into your home Essentially We're going to push into your home Eugenics We're going to push into your home Essentially We're going to push into your home Oh, you on the long cut, no one gonna kill him They went in, do you need help in the kitchen? They were watching television, two elderly women Oh no, we got nothing where you go Why the hell did you two push into my home? Well, Rono was 13, he's not even that old But they killed them both, how could he be that cold? And all he got was a little bit of money And now he's off the jail and oh, no running Push into your home Essentially we're going to push into your home Eugenics We're going to push into your home Essentially We're going to push into your home Oh, you on the long cut, no one gonna kill him Not coming out, get him in here And they gave him 170 years Yeah, that's the way it is, Ronald Then he met up with Trevor McDonald And we know that he served his time and he had a petition that everybody signed Get him out, he'd be cutting the grass more Then maybe he might kick in the back door and Push into your home Essentially We're going to push into your home Eugenics We're going to push into your home Essentially We're going to push into your home Oh, you on the long cut, no one gonna kill him being certain, you know, he's essentially cages, and to think that we stay in 24 hours, 23 hours a day, come out for an hour a day, uh, it's, it's taxing. Can I have a look in your cell about, Absolutely. Have, a, have a look at some of the books? Absolutely. My life has been lived in this prison, and it seems as though I've been in this prison so long that I've never been free. Uh, 25 years in prison, it's a long time. Especially when you're coming at the age of 15. Yeah, really. And war against the weak, what the, what, what's that about? Eugenics. Eugenics? Yes. Americans attempt to make a master race, essentially. On the walls here. Strength, well-being, and health. Yes. It's something I try to focus on. Um, if, if there's anything I, I, I want to stay my mind on, it's, as I always say, it's something progressive. So being strong and having a, a, a good disposition and being in good health are certain, certain things I definitely want to uh, focus on. Let him out. He can go and cut the grass again. We'll get him a lawnmower. I can picture it now. It'll be cutting the lawn, it'll be all great. No, get away from that door. Ronald, no! Ronald! No, seriously, let him out, man. Fucking hell.